In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an AI voice with a range of emotions using this awesome tool. I'll show you how to combine it with AI videos to get results like this. I feel you trailing behind me, a quiet shadow that turns every step into a reminder of the love I lost and the life that now haunts me. And I'll show you other amazing things the tool can do, like cloning a voice with only 10 seconds of audio. Okay, let's get into it. The website that we're going to use is called Cartesia, and I'll leave a link to it down below. So first of all, let's have a look at their pricing. There is a free version, which is great for testing this software, but you're not allowed to use it for commercial use. And what I like is that they've got a pro mode and it's only $5 a month, which I think is pretty reasonable. And with the pro plan, you're able to use it for commercial use. You can do voice cloning, voice changer, and localization, as well as having a 100,000 character limit. I think this is a really good price for what you're getting. So back onto the main page, as you can see, it's pretty simple. We have create voice, and then there's text to speech, voice changer. You can view all the voices here. And in the middle, you have your text box, and you can choose the model and the voice of the character. And if you come down here, you can get started with a bit of text that they provide. So I'll just click on narrate a story as a character, and it will add in this bit of text. And I'll just leave it on these default settings and let's click speak. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, that sounded pretty good actually. And let's click on the voices and see which other ones they have. It's nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. So there's a female voice and it sounds pretty good and it gives a little description on what that voice is. It's nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. It's nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. It's nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. It's nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. It's nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. And if you come up here, you can choose language as well, so we can go to German. Es freut mich Sie kennenzulernen. Ich hoffe, Sie haben einen schönen Tag. And there are loads of different languages you can choose from. And you can also choose gender. Now let's have a look into the advanced settings. Here is where they have some interesting things happening. So as you can see, they have all of these different emotions and you can adjust them to how strong you want them. And also the speed of the voice. So first of all, let's try anger. Uh, we put it at 50%. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's ramp it all the way up to 100. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, you can definitely feel he's a bit aggravated in the voice. Speaking quite fast though, so let's maybe take the speed down a bit. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I wouldn't say he sounds super angry, but now let's try the opposite with sadness. And I'll take it down a bit in speed. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, that sounded really good. You can definitely feel there was some sadness in the voice, and I think it has a bit more emotion than the angry voice. Okay, I'm gonna try it at 90 and even take the speed down a bit more. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Definitely sounds like a sad person. And let's try surprised. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, that definitely sounded a bit surprised. Let's try positivity. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, that sounded quite positive. And curiosity. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, that's very interesting. And you can even mix these up. 
so you can boost up curious and surprised. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. And let's try anger and sadness together. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. So you can definitely feel there is a bit of resentment in the voice. And here it is with a different voice. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, that sounded really good. And if you look up here, they have different models. They have Sonic, and then for some weird reason, Sonic Preview. So I'm not sure if that's a mistake, but let's have a listen to that one. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. So that definitely sounded different. Um, so I would recommend trying different models and different settings to get different results. Just a quick note here, definitely try experiment with different voices as I found different voices that sound better using the emotion slider with them. For example, I used this voice of Gregor. It sounds quite positive when using the positivity scale, but when tested with other voices, they didn't sound as positive. So I just gave it a quick sentence here. And another note is you can create breaks within the sentence to create pauses. So let's have a quick listen to it. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Atomic Games YouTube channel. This video is going to be awesome. And as you can see, he sounds very positive. So if you're not getting the results you're looking for, then definitely try another voice. So if we click back on create a voice, you can also design a voice. So you can pick a voice and you can also merge it with another voice if you want to, to create a unique voice. And then if you come down to speed and emotion, this is where you can tweak the voice. So let's say I want a really sad voice. So I've just tweaked to the settings and I'll call this one Southern Woman Sad. Then if we preview it. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, that sounds pretty good and then you can choose to create that voice and it will be added into your library. So it will automatically have these settings attributed to it. Then if we go back to create a voice again, you can choose to localize a voice. So what this will do is you can select any of these voices that they have or one of your own custom ones, and then you can choose to give it an accent. So for now, we'll choose English and then you can choose from one of these accents. So let's try Australian, and then you can give it a name. So you can say Australian accent and then click on localize. And then when you go to text to speech, you can go to my voices and here is the voice that I created. So I've just added in a bit of text. Let's find a time that works for you. When would you like to schedule your appointment? Okay, that sounded great. Definitely sounds Australian. And I also made some other ones. I also made one with a British accent. Let's find a time that works for you. When would you like to schedule your appointment? One with an Indian accent. Let's find a time that works for you. When would you like to schedule your appointment? And I also did a German accent. I did this by selecting the pleasant man voice. And then instead of going to English, I went to German. And then for accent, just pick the standard one. And it should have a German accent. Hi Ter, I was just calling to check in, how have you been doing lately? Okay, so that sounded really good. So you can try adding accents to any character. And I even added a French accent to my cloned voice, and it sounds like this. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. Okay, there was a little glitch at the end there, but other than that, it sounded really good. And here's me with a German accent. Let me tell you a story from my journey. It all started when I found myself standing at the edge of a mysterious forest, unsure of what lay beyond. And that sounded pretty good. So you can definitely have some fun with adding accents to voices. What's great is that you can clone a voice from just a 10 second clip. So I'm going to try clone a voice from a 10 second clip and one from a longer three minute clip and we'll see the difference. So with the cloning, as you can see, they have a few different options. We have high stability, 
which says it can handle more robust recording, but it may sound less like the voice that you provide. And high similarity, which is more true to your voice, but may generate artifacts and imperfections. So I'll try both high stability and high similarity with both my short recording and my long recording, and we'll see the difference. Now you can choose to record straight onto the website with a microphone, or you can upload your own audio. So I'm just gonna upload the pre-recorded audio I've already made. And just make sure to give it a name. I've just kept it as short and high stability just so I know how to identify it. And then you can choose the language. So I'm just gonna keep it as English. And we have this enhanced audio for cloning. So I'm guessing they just tweak the audio file to make it sound a bit cleaner. And it is a recommended setting to have on. So just click clone and it's finished the cloning. So let's have a listen. It's nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. And that sounds pretty good to be honest. And that was created with just a 15 second audio clip of my voice. So I'm extremely impressed with how that's come out. Now I'll try it with high similarity. So let's have a listen to that one. It's nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. And that sounds pretty good as well. I'm not sure which one's better. They both sound pretty similar to be honest. And I'll do the same but with the longer recording. So this is the clone using a longer audio clip that I provided it with high stability mode. It's nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. All right, that sounds pretty good. Now let's have a listen to the high similarity version. It's nice to meet you. Hope you're having a great day. All right, again, it sounds really good. I'm actually really surprised with how well the voice cloning turned out from only giving it a 15 second clip of my voice. So definitely have a go at cloning your voice. Even if you've got a really short audio clip, it will give you some really good results. Now let's have a look at creating AI videos to go along with these voices. For this example, I'm using Kling AI as they're able to generate images, videos, and they're able to do lip syncing, which is crucial when you give it the AI voice. So for this example, I wanted to create a sad woman to go along with the sad voice. So in the text to image feature in Kling, I gave it a pretty comprehensive prompt. Now you don't have to be as detailed as this one, as you could just write in a portrait photo of a sad lady and it should come out looking pretty good. And then when you're happy with the image, you can click on bring to life, which then takes you to the image to video mode here. And then I just wrote in the woman is sad and I kept it on professional mode and just kept it at five seconds. And this is the video that it created which I think looks amazing. And then once you've got a video that you're happy with, you can click on lip sync. And then from here, go to upload local dubbing and upload the audio you've created from Cartesia. The only thing I don't like with Kling at the moment is lip syncing is only available for five seconds. See, it kind of cuts out at the end there. So what I usually do is I do one video with the first part and then for the second part, I usually give it the same video and then just give it the second part of the audio and then edit them together. And once it's exported that video out, it looks like this. I feel you trailing behind me, a quiet shadow that turns every step into a reminder of the love I lost and the life that now haunts me. I am blown away with the quality of the lip syncing. And here's another example of an old man reading. And for this audio, I boosted up the curiosity scale. So he should sound more curious. Now, would you lend an ear to an old man's tale? A curious story from my youth that still tickles my memory? And I'm really pleased with the results. Now, these are just some examples, and I'm sure you can do a lot more with it. I feel like this would be perfect for storytelling or if you're creating an audiobook and the characters are going through different emotions. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video and I urge you to go test out Cartesia. It's fun to clone your own voice or just play around with the different emotions. If you have any tips or tricks on how to create emotions with AI videos, which I haven't covered in this video, then please leave a comment down below. If you could like, subscribe and hit that notification bell, that would be awesome. And if you'd like to check out one of our other videos, then feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.